I'm that bitch. Will forever be that bitch. Forever be that bitch. So hey boo, what's goody boo, what's up boo, you know, stay here poo, whatever. <laughs> Y'all, I feel a little bit back like myself. Like, I feel back like myself. Like, I got my hair. You know, I did my hair. I'm going to talk about that a little bit. I got my motherfucking nails on. I did a damn video on how I did these nails. So, if you guys want to see me do a video on these nails. Let me, let me give you the up close. Um, I did my nails, honey. I did my nails. I did my nails, honey. Y'all know how it is. Today is a get ready with me chat. I'm going to do my makeup. I'm going to get ready with me chat. As you guys can tell by the title, I'm going to be getting ready for my quote unquote OnlyFans. I'm going to be getting into that. I'm going to be talking about a bunch of stuff. So just sit back, relax, sip you some tea, and let's get into the tunes, okay? Let's get into the tunes. I'm just going to uh, prime my eyes so that I can get ready So put some shadow on them, okay? Give me a little shadow. So as I always add, how y'all been doing? How y'all been getting down? Get in that comment section and let me know because I actually really care and I'm going to be reading comments. I always read my comments, but I never really get the reply, but I've been making it an effort to reply to comments, even though it's been a lot. And girl, I've been, doing, I've been doing good, okay? So, you know, go over there to my comments. Leave me a comment. Let me know what y'all been feeling. Um, with me, I've been doing really, really good. I feel like, you know, Megan Thee Stallion, Beyonce just dropped a new song. And honestly, that was a vibe. I was feeling it. It was giving me, it was giving me a little bit of life, okay? I know Beyonce been gone for a minute, so. And y'all know I love Megan, so. I was just like, you know, I actually like this combo. I just took my NARS Creamy Soft Matte Concealer in the color Ginger. and Medium to Ginger. And I actually just went ahead and put that all over. And now, when I put that all over, and now I'm about to go into one of my, my favorite palettes, the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette. And I'm gonna use the color, I'm gonna use uh, this color, Sandalwood. And just I'll brush that along the top. So y'all know before on my last Get Ready With Me, I posted that I was a single, and that is true, I am single now, so you know bummer but it happens and that was not cap that was like that ass the truth um but you guys know me and court we don't hate each other i feel like before we even started anything we always had like a good relationship friendship so i feel like it's like you know in good spacing right now it's in good standings me and court um but honestly me and her but we still around each other we still do stuff and people actually still like us and love us and we always had wanted to do a page together, but I was like against it low key. It was me. Cause I was just like, I'm not ready for no page. I don't want to be really tied to somebody like that. And that's a lot of responsibility. And she understood where I was coming from. I feel like this thing is grabbing more color than it's supposed to, honey. What we ended up doing was creating an OnlyFans together. I feel like I wanted to do OnlyFans, but it just makes sense like to do OnlyFans instead of doing a YouTube. Number one, y'all know YouTube is like, basically they always flagging my shit. They always flagging lesbian stuff. And honestly, I was like, you know, I want to get on a wave of OnlyFans and see how it worked for me. My head's itching, sorry. I want to get on OnlyFans. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and get on the OnlyFans and see how it will work for me. I feel like I always post sexy content anyway. That's nothing new. Um, so at the point where I'm able to showcase it somewhere and not be flagged, not have my videos taken down and not be fucking discriminated against. I mean, for fuck's sakes, I want to, I want to be a part of something like that. You know, I feel like with YouTube, I love YouTube. I started here. YouTube is the, what gave me my platform to be who I wanted to be at one point. But I feel like right now, like even when I post a lesbian video, it gets flagged. I feel like I post videos that's not sexual, they get flagged. I feel like I post videos that's sexual, they get flagged. So it's like, to me, I feel like YouTube is just not becoming a platform. It's not what it was before. People is not making money on YouTube like they was before. Mind you, I feel like my money is still good, but I'm definitely not making money like I used to make on YouTube. And it's not all about the money either. It's just about the fact that like, most of my shit, like y'all, I could put in a screenshot if I can fucking remember. Um, like my stuff gets flagged so much. Like y'all would be like, what in the fuck? Like, why would you even get flagged for something like that? And honestly, when people ask me, I don't even have an answer for them because I don't know. 
Like, I don't have a damn clue. I, I literally don't have a clue of why my videos will get flagged the way they do. But they do. They get so flagged and all this other stuff. And I feel like um, OnlyFans, it literally gives a platform for you to just showcase what you want. Like, yeah, it's a bunch of sex on there. But honestly, that's not only thing that's on there so you know i hope you guys come over subscribe see stuff it will be me and court on there um just doing stuff and like i said it was no cap about us being single i just feel like you ever have people that make like a best friend channel or like a, a friend channel or something like that it just makes sense because their energies is matched on like such a great level i feel like me and court is still getting to learn each other know each other more or so and we're gonna talk about that all over there too about the breakup how the breakup went who the fuck initiated it why we actually broke up um we're gonna talk about all that over there because i feel like it just makes sense and normally like courtney takes over one week i take over one week and it's just good energy i feel like it's about being mature and being adults and that's what the hell we doing and i feel good about it i don't feel bad Hopefully y'all don't showcase no judgment. I feel like I hope the way that I'm translate, I'm lading it over on camera to you guys is exactly the way I'm trying to say it. But I don't know if it's, you know, sometimes when I talk, I feel like some stuff doesn't translate the way I wanted to say it. But overall, me and Court is still cool. I don't hate her. I don't dislike her. Don't think she hates me or dislike me. She still got my mother freaking nerves. Y'all know that. But I feel like it's one of the things where we know we here with it. So it's just like, you know, why not? And I like doing it, honestly. So I'm going to do a video today. I'm going to give y'all some sneak peeks of my final look and my presentation or whatever. So this is my Get Ready With Me OnlyFans edition. And on top of that, I feel like I recommend any creator that's on YouTube to move over there. Because it's one of them things where you can have... I feel like it depends. If you want them type of girls like... I don't do anything but like teddy bears, do makeup. Um, I talk like this on a regular basis. Um, yeah, I suck my nigga's dick and I suck my best friend's nigga's dick at the same time, but nobody knows. If you one of them type of bitches, I mean, yeah, you can still be on YouTube because they love you over here because at that point, you know, you're not really being yourself. But I feel like if you somebody like me and you post raw content, you give people great energy and vibes, and I feel like you just authentic and you've been here for a long time and you paid your due diligence i feel like you should level up to me like i said youtube is always gonna be my baby i'm always gonna be on youtube but i feel like a lot of my content i'm trying to transfer over to only fans because you know it just makes sense and it just makes sense sis Oh, and I forgot to tell you guys, this is the color Coco. I actually like this color a lot. I use it for a lot of my looks. So, and it do be dope shit over there. So, for example, we did a talk where we did, like, talks with Corte, where we brought on six. So, first things first, what do you identify as? Are you gay, lesbian, bisexual, straight? I always say gay, because I feel like lesbian sounds so, like, rough. And you think... Right, like, oh, I'm a lesbian. Good energy to me is just a bit that made me feel good. Like, I feel like when I, I just want to be around her, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like- I feel like drugs can make you feel good, but that don't mean they good for you. Yeah, but niggas take drugs, though. <laughs> <laughs> Love it when bitches are self-aware. Like, if you can, like, um, talk about, like, manifestation and, like, law, of, like, the universe and shit like that, I'm just, like, what do you know about healing yourself? Like, what do you know about your past traumas? Like, oh, that's so sexy to me. Oh, you say that, I'm like, oh, 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 As a special guest, and then next week we're bringing on Court's friend that's like a WNBA player, and I know y'all girls gonna be all over top of her. Also, we're gonna be doing like challenges and games and just fun shit, honestly, over there. So, you know, just go over there and check it out, see what you like. It's pictures of us, throwbacks. We give away money on every Monday. So, I mean, it's vibes. It's good energy over there, honestly. It's a lot of stuff over there for somebody, anybody. And let's see what I can do with you. Which is probably bright as hell, but it's like, what the fuck, hey? Honestly, if it don't look right, I'm gonna just tone it down. She coming off a little neon -y. I'm just pat it in though. Um, but yeah, so it's a vibe over there. It's actually fun. 
if you like us in the vlogs, this is definitely the place for you. And we're going to post like vlogs over there and stuff like that. So give us time. We're working on what we're working on. We got we got some plan for y'all, okay? Um, I know I talked to you guys about my last video about my podcast. Girl, I'm still working on that damn podcast because iTunes was supposed to be accepting my ass. And honey, I don't know what the fuck. Oh, and honestly, another thing I was worried about with OnlyFans is, like, how people would perceive me. And I feel like, you know, with me, I'm a brand within myself. I'm known for authentically doing what I want, not giving a fuck what people think. And I don't give a fuck what people think. Like, to me, it just seems like it's a platform for me to showcase things that I've been wanting to showcase and do. And it just came at the perfect opportunity. And instead of looking at it at the same way that everybody else looks at it from a... That aspect, I'm looking at it more from a business aspect. So I will like insert a clip where me and Courtney was on live and we actually was talking about it and trying to break it down and explain to people what it was. And I feel like Courtney explained it a lot better than I'm kind of doing it right now because I'm trying to focus on something. But when me and her talked about it, it just made so much more sense about like why we would be over there. Because a lot of people, even though we not together they still requested us together and i'm like you know that makes sense because people grow into bonds and grow into people so it's like i want to showcase i want to give that but i just definitely don't want to start on youtube especially when it's something i'm looking into transitioning out not completely 100 percent, but it's like for example i don't know if i want to start doing half my videos on youtube and then finishing the other half on only fans because, like I said, they flag my videos anyway. I don't know if I want to do snippets of my videos on YouTube and then finish them on OnlyFans. Like, you know, I just, it's a lot to take in because at the end of the day, I do like creating content. I do like being that content creator. But it's so many limitations and flags on me. Like, for example, when I do lingerie videos, I don't get any money from that. And at the end of the day, if I still want to create content and be here for you guys and do stuff like that, I have to make money. Like, I just have to make money and YouTube, y'all, if you know, you know, they do not be fuck. I feel like they be discriminating against a lot of black content. Why did I do that? I feel like they discriminate against a lot of black content creators and that is just not, I mean, for heaven's sakes, look how big I am on YouTube and I've never been invited to YouTube black. I'm not saying that. That I don't know who the fuck run YouTube Black, honestly, but I just know I've never personally had an invite. I feel like as big as I am on YouTube, I feel like a lot of the the exposure and um, exposure and in the face, I should be more so than I am. But I'm not because I'm pretty sure it's about like how I showcase myself. I feel like I'm a lot more vulgar. I'm not like your traditional black girl that they would want I feel like I'm kind of a city girl in a sense like I'm not that like I'm a city girl like I'm ratchet I'm black I'm ghetto and I do what I want I talk how I want I wear my nails long I do this I wear my hair like I feel like it's weird because I feel like the top content creators is like the white boy I feel like it's the white girl that traditional apple pie white girl white boy I feel like then it's also you go into the black girls that act white or the black girls that give off like a more of a quote unquote I don't want to say act white because that sounds stupid but you get what I'm saying and then I feel like they go into like the gay black boy like I don't feel like it goes into a realm of a traditional realistic relatable ass black girl and I definitely don't see no any type of lesbian I see is like Amber's Closet and I feel like when you see the vibe of Amber's Closet it doesn't give like my vibe <laughs> and like you get what I'm saying like that's two different types of that's two different types of lesbiana okay okay let me spread this but yes girl that's what's really been going on with me right now I feel like I just got to get into the rest of my look. Because that's what's going to set this hoe up. Where is... Where the fuck is my damn stuff? One thing I don't play about is my damn eyeliner. Because that's the difference in looking like a broke bitch and a real bitch. 
when your line when your wing is off girl don't wear in public you need to practice even though i know i'm not really supposed to be drinking soda but honestly it be tasting so good i love coke a good coke or pepsi girl that just puts me in the mood and i be feeling amazing even though people tell me it's unhealthy i ain't even gonna care i be feeling amazing after i drink it i don't know if it's the fact that i know i'm not supposed to drink it or the fact that it's really good but my mom she used to be like addicted to coke soda <laughs> she used to be addicted to soda like that like coca-cola girl don't get it twisted now because i don't want mama glam hit me up but she used to drink it so much and i feel like i don't know if she gave me that trait or what the fuck but see, she stopped drinking it. But now I drink it so much. But I don't know where the hell I came from with drinking it. Come like, nigga. I'm a lemonade type girl. Hold on, I can't talk to you. I got a, I got important business with this wing. But like, I always get to a point where it's time for me to change my foundation. And I think I'm getting to that point of this one. I'm like, girl, it's time to change it. Sometimes, I don't know. They be doing me right, but sometimes they be out here doing me dirty. And I just be like, okay. But yeah, this is the foundation I always use. You guys, <laughs> did y'all hear Drake's new album? Talk about popping that pussy, okay? Because honestly, I love Drake and his music. And he always get me in like the feels, okay? Drake is one of them niggas that always just make me feel like, damn, all niggas ain't shit, even though I know y'all is. I'm like, all niggas ain't shit. Drake told me. But girl, that dog can't, that dog quickly goes out my damn here anytime I think it. And then also, y'all know, I want to talk to y'all because you know a problem I've been having with myself and I've been working on it lately is just like, stop putting so many damn time restraints on myself. I feel like honestly on the OnlyFans, it's like we talk about stuff, but it's kind of like a mini outlet podcast type of thingy vibe. That's the kind of energy it's given. Cause honestly, I was just talking on there and I was like, you know, I put so many damn time restraints on myself of when I should do something because now I'm getting at an older age and I feel like, not other people are looking at me, but I just feel like, I don't know. When I was younger, I always thought by the time I was age 25, I was going to have my life together. I was going to be already married. I was going to be damn near having kids and stuff or already with kids. I feel like a lot of us probably thought like that too. And right now I'm working on a fact of like understanding like that ain't happened. And it's okay that it didn't happen. And I just need to accept it and, you know, understand that everybody coming their own path. That's the same as me. Like. Some people would consider me a successful. I would consider myself still working on it. And then it's like, you know, everything comes for different people at different times and different people have different means of success. To me, honestly, I just want, I just feel like, I always kept thinking to myself, I'm like, well, if I don't have kids and I ain't married by this date and this time, like it's something wrong with me or I did something. And honestly, I don't be feeling, I feel like, I have my moments where I'll be like, okay, was that true? But then I also have my moments where I snap myself out and be like, um, bitch, no. That wasn't you. You ain't had nothing to do with that. It's just now about talking to myself and giving myself reassurance that, you know, it's okay you didn't have kids yet. It's okay that you're not married yet. It's okay that you... I have to keep reassuring myself that otherwise I feel like a piece of shit about it. And I feel like y'all need to do the same thing. I don't know if y'all really doing that, but honestly, like... You know, it's easy to look at stuff that you don't have, but you have to just be appreciative of what you do have. I feel like with me, I always look at like, I'm not married. I don't have kids. I'm out here just being young, wild and free. You know, what? I need to understand that baby girl is not your time yet. And when it's my time, honey, it ain't nobody going to be able to stop them. I'm going to take off on the ground running. Okay, I'm going to hop off the motherfucking porch when it's my time. But I feel like right now, it's time for me to focus on myself, be an entrepreneur and a businesswoman. But I ain't even going to cap, y'all. I've really been thinking about, like, my times 
and stuff and me doing stuff at a certain time and waiting on certain people to do things honestly i was telling um my friends i was like i really think i want to plan to have a child this year and i feel like that's a big commitment and it's a lot that comes with it but you figure most people that i know that had kids had them because they accidentally got pregnant i feel like the point where i'm fucking with females it ain't really no accidentally getting pregnant a lot unless i fall on somebody's dick and i mean i'm pretty sure that's not gonna be happening anytime soon so it's like you know i can control that of when it happens and how it happens i can control that because i got some power i mean of course my friends got power too but if you ain't on birth control and you fucking a nigga you pretty much know what's about to happen at this point so i'm gonna set it underneath my eye and personally with me while i'm doing this i'm literally going to go in with my um bronzer i'm gonna go in with my bronzer this is the color it gives me i'm gonna go with my bronzer the color give me sun and you can tell it's been well used um and i'm literally just going to let me use this other mirror because that was kind of big i'm gonna use it and just put it there i hope y'all really enjoy these get ready with me chats because honestly i've been really liking them and they're like therapeutic for me y'all know um i have a history with mental health and another thing is i want to chime in on that too but y'all know i have a thing with my mental health and i feel like you know i just feel like i'm talking to one of my homies and that just feels good you know it just feels good um also i want to get into something real quick while i'm baking i want to get into something oh but i want to get into something real quick i want to show y'all something um honestly i went to my peel box and when I went to my P.O. box, I seen this and I'm like, what the fuck is this? Because I wasn't expecting it. So, y'all know Chi hair products. They actually ended up sending me like a PR pop box, which is like a big deal to me. Because, you know, I feel like, like I was saying in the beginning of this conversation, I don't really get recognized. I don't really get like the quote unquote perks that other influencers do. So, at a point where they like took it upon themselves to send this out to me without even telling me or reaching out at all. I was like, oh my God, that is so sweet. Like, girl bitch was low-key getting emotional you know what i'm saying because i was just like that's crazy to me because i really don't be getting stuff like that so um i had went to my p.o box and i seen this it was chi and barbie they didn't ask me to post it or anything so i was just like okay so i wanted to share it with you guys so when i opened up the pr box it said the beauty is being you share your looks using chi x barbie beauty is beauty being you so when i went here apparently chi and barbie have came out with a new collection and it says the introducing the ultimate chi and barbie dream pink collection so one of them actually has a flat iron in it and then the other one right there that you guys can see in the corner it actually has the curling iron in it so i was like i want to use it y'all love the way i said iron too i know y'all do because y'all always talk about it inside of it, it came like this freaking flat iron so i was like oh i want to try that out today don't know what it's gonna do if it's cute if it's gonna give not if it's just giving perfect aesthetic or if it's really gonna give a bomb you know i want to see okay so you put this on your hair while it's damp actually so you know i want you guys to see that or whatever so they put this inside of there this is the thermal this is the iron thermal protection spray she put in here that i actually 100 use on my own i've been using it for years y'all can check my old videos is the silk infusion silk infusion is like the best thing to flat iron your hair with it's um very very lightweight so i do know that about this so this is like my go-to with straightening my hair if i want it to look and it doesn't weigh your hair down one thing about me is i like to straighten my hair but not weigh it down you know it's got it's pink on the back or whatever so I'm a little bit excited to use this today. And then when you open it up, it comes with like the iron and the Barbie freaking flat iron. So I'm like, sis, y'all know better. That she has a little compact mirror. Y'all wanna see if y'all can see some stuff in my mirror. And won't. The curling iron, um, their packaging on there is way cuter just because it has Barbie written all over it repeatedly. They looking out for me. Shout out to Chi. But look how the packaging on the Barbie one is for the curling iron. Like, I feel like the curling iron, oh my God, it's so pretty and so girly. Like, girl, I would just set this up for decor, okay? Because it's giving that cute. 
Okay, you guys, so the wig that I'm going to be using today is from IC Hair, and I'm going to take you guys to the actual wig that I ended up getting, and I'm going to type blue into the search, and it would be this one right here. So this is the wig that I actually got. It's a 13 by 4 lace front wig. It had, mine's had a little bit of baby hairs, but not too much. Um, I got it in the color blue, and it's 20 inches, so it ends up being $211.70. Um, it actually is Brazilian virgin hair, as you guys can tell. It comes in blue, pink, or purple, and it has 130% density. I kind of preferred for it to be a little bit more thicker, though, and also it came in about three to four days. So this is the wig. I hope you guys like it. It's very, very vibrant and very, very pretty. Here's a couple customer reviews on it, but I will say on the coloring, honey, they did that, okay? what they do that because honestly it looks really really good the only downfall is i just wish it was a little bit more thicker so yeah let me know what you guys think this is my first time getting like a real colorful colored wig okay so this is what the hair is giving it looks really good it looks good or whatever okay so it's giving me but like I said, this is all the hair forward. So if it's too thin for you, you definitely could add a bundle to the back of it. And it might, you know, to me using a door indigo blue with a little bit of conditioner in it would get this perfect, will be very similar. It wouldn't be perfect, but it would be similar. And that would honestly make this like a lot more thicker. But the only thing is when it makes it a lot more thicker, it might be a different color in the back, but that's not gonna be that big of a deal because when you the dimensions all come together, you gotta think about this hair flaws over the top of it and the hair at the bottom, it's gonna look right. So you guys, this is my final look. You know, I'm looking like a bad bitch. I'm giving you all you need. I give you makeup, I give you hair, and I'm also giving you nails. Okay, so I linked everything below that I could possibly link below. If you guys have any questions, any type of videos you want to come up, definitely comment them below and check out my store. We got a lot going on. We got some Glamatizer. Let me show you my Glamatizer. This is our Glam Hand Sanitizer, you guys, so y'all can stay safe in these streets. And also, we got a bunch of other goodies over there, too. So definitely go check that out. And... This is the overall look for me and my OnlyFans type of look. Okay, I'm gonna put some sneak peek, pre sneak peek little pickets um, behind here so you know you definitely stay tuned for that. But y'all, this is what happens on the behind the scenes. So make sure you go subscribe to my OnlyFans, okay? Make sure you go do that. Subscribe to my OnlyFans, bitch, okay?